Spawn, this is Marty Kokish and welcome back to Marty's Garage. Uh, so, I've done a little bit of work on the uh, Jeep so far. Um, uh, and I took this afternoon off with uh, the hopes of heading to the junkyard and, and uh, getting some parts to kind of get it roadworthy again. So, I'll just show you what I've done so far. Um, I pulled off, this is called the, uh, the header panel that all of the uh, <laughs> the grill and all the light fixtures mount into since uh, it kind of stopped right about here I have nothing to uh, to put uh, uh, lights into even if I got them so let's just kind of show you the Jeep now it was really easy to take off there was uh, just uh, kind of four bolts holding the thing in uh, there's here here and I think we had one down there somewhere and so and then there was just a couple electrical links to disconnect like I have no idea what this is but it hooks in front of the radiator um, and then I had to disconnect the lighting uh, connections over here so what I'm gonna what I'm hoping to get um, seeing over here what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna kind of have to I'm gonna have to bend that uh, bumper out and try to get this uh, I don't know uh, proper shaped so I can uh, put the new uh, header panel in and I'm gonna try to pick up a fender there um, chances are it's not gonna be the same color but we'll deal with that later um, I've gotten all the light fixtures I needed so far so um, and then there's a there's a cover that goes over this bumper here um, quick squeaking yeah that'll do it <laughs> and then uh, if you notice, like the the bumpers on these Grand Cherokees kind of look like like this stuff down here, and so it's actually just a cover that goes over the real bumper here. And so um, if I just kind of get the bumper bent into shape and stuff, um, it won't look pretty, but uh, uh, it'll look just fine once I get that cover on. So um, that's where I'm at now. Oh, one one other thing I I did so far was uh, I got a new tail light. I I. Uh, put that in there so um, that that part of it's kind of fixed and like I said uh, we'll, when I <clears throat> as far as fixing this up we'll deal with that when I go down to uh, uh, my brother's and he's gonna help me pull this out and we'll paint and prime it so um, I'll, I'll be back I gotta change clothes and stuff and got all my tools gathered up and I'll I'll be I'll be back when I get to the young okay I'm back I uh, just leaving the junkyard now. I was down at you pull our parts uh, down in Rosemont, Minnesota, and uh, didn't want to feel like an idiot talking into a camera walking around in the junkyard with, with a bunch of people there. So um, I didn't record anything, obviously. Um, but uh, I did find a, a couple things. I was, like I said, I was mainly after that header panel and uh, that. Uh, the, the Jeeps I found had already been picked over and that was already missing or they had obviously done the same thing as the, the previous owner previous owner of our Jeep and it's it's uh, kind of smashed up <laughs> so I couldn't uh, salvage the uh, header panel off those but uh, I did find a fender and uh, it's luckily it's actually the, the same exact color so um, we can just throw that right on there and we're good to go. Um, see what else did I get? That was the major find I, I got today. Um, I got what else did I get? Got some random hoses that look like they got snipped uh, that go down to the uh, uh, the emissions uh, uh, thingy underneath the bumper. Uh, so I got that. Um, I did see one there with a good bumper. So um, if we want to come back and do some cutting. Um, we'll do that, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Got something. It was it was pretty cheap um, for the fender. I think I, it was like thirty bucks altogether. So that was a good deal. And uh, hey, so back home, tooling away on the on the Jeep now, and uh, I've been banging. I, I've got the old fender off. Set this down. Got the old fender off, and I. Uh, so here's the new one, and there's the old one. So you can see this uh, 
uh, has some Laredo or something on it that's uh, must be a slightly different year or whatever. This is actually a Laredo, but uh, at least it's the same color, so I don't have to have to paint it or anything. So, and then uh, over here, um, where the damage was, I've been uh, banging the hell out of it to try to get it into the right shape with a hammer. Um, so you can see this side thing here. I've kind of got that almost up into place. I think this this nubby thing down there. I think that has to be uh, be a little bit flatter, but uh, got the bumper pulled out a decent amount. I think I need to go a little bit farther, but uh, um, there's a little flangey thing right there that uh, I'm gonna have to pound that down. But uh, um, yeah, I don't know. It's going good so far. So um, another thing I noticed was uh, on on the other side. Um, I think uh, I'm gonna have to uh, that little brackety thing that was on the side. I'm gonna have to bang that out too because this does not look like it's the right shape. <laughs> so I think this fender might this fender is good for the most part, but I think I'm gonna have to take it off just so I can straighten that piece down there up. So uh, that's that's where we're at. So hey, so I'm back. Um, got that new fender on. Um, so you can see there, starting to look a little bit nicer. Um, one thing I noticed down here on the side, you can see that gray charcoal trim piece. The, the new piece has a, uh, must have a black line that runs along the side there, but uh, mine doesn't. So, but uh, thankfully I still have the, uh, uh, the original over here, so I'll pull up. I'll pull off that rubbery, bumpery thing, and I'll I'll swap that over. But uh, you can see, um, so here's the side that isn't completely crushed. Now this side is kind of yanked out, and I think we can uh, fit lights and stuff in here now. So that's that's a good thing. <clears throat> um, there's still some funky stuff going on down in there over here, but. I think I'm gonna leave that until we, uh, uh, I get down to my brother Kevin's place and um, we can investigate that further. But uh, for now I'm gonna, uh, well, tomorrow Kevin, uh, uh, he had ordered some parts for me. Um, a new, uh, it's called a uh, uh, header panel. And uh, I was thinking I'd go down there and I'd get that I'd go down there tomorrow, get that, bring it up, um, put that on here, and try to get all my lights and everything working again. And then uh, we'd just go down there for uh, to kind of finish up the body work, like pull out all these dents and stuff like that, and prime and paint if we need to. So uh, I don't know. Uh, almost Jeep project didn't really last that long. It's uh, it was surprisingly easy and inexpensive compared to the to the MG project <laughs> so uh, but knock on knock on wood there um, I hope I hope that's the case so um, yeah but uh, I'll let you go for this evening um, again I'm Marty Kokish um, the website I set up for the show is uh, www.martune m-a-r-t-u-n-e dot net and shows available on iTunes and the Zoom Marketplace. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.